What did you think of the offensive execution today? Was it what you guys needed? Yeah, I think it's definitely you know what we needed. It wasn't necessarily good enough. You know, we we sputtered at times, but I think I think the two things that were um, that were uh, a little bit more disappointing were just the turnovers and our third down percent. It just wasn't quite as good. You know, that's really what stopped us. Um, that's a really really good defense um, that Louisville has, man. I mean, they came out. They've, they've had a lot of confidence. They won four in a row. And, and like I said, they're a really, really good team. They're all over the place, you know. They're all over the place. So I was really proud of our guys, um, you know, just on how they responded, especially after last week. They responded, all right. Guys stepped up and made plays. We had a couple guys out, um, and it, they really didn't flinch, you know. And, uh, again, we found a way to win. So. Brand, with all the different pressures and looks that they give you up front, what made wh wh why were you guys able to be effective blocking that in the, in the run game? Yeah, I, I really think our guys did a great job all week long all right, of fitting up some of the runs that we had game planned against this defense. And, and uh, man, they just worked their tails off all week. A lot of studying and a lot of uh, just working together. We talked about communication all week long, too. So that was a big thing for us up front is making sure that they were communicating. Um, and, and that way they're making the right calls. And that way we can pick up the, all the different stuff that they're bringing us. So the communication was probably the biggest piece of the puzzle. Were there certain things y'all saw on film that you thought you could exploit in the run game? With yeah, I, I just felt like, you know, we, we got some, we got our offensive line has done a really, really good job in the run game and, and uh, have, have given our backs some really good creases. And, and uh, we knew we had talent at back, at running back. And so just being able to, continue to give them the ball. There's no doubt, as you all saw in the first half, we're close to hitting a couple big, big plays. And we got seven, eight, nine yards a chunk, but but uh, didn't quite hit that big play till a little bit later on and, and, and finally had it. What did that, what Shipley's uh, hurdle? <laughs> that was impressive. I'll tell you, I saw the replay up in the booth too. I mean, I mean that kid is, is special. It just shows his heart, you know? And uh, uh, hey, it shows that he's Superman too, right? He jumps over people, you know? And then he split the two guys. Right going into the end zone. And, and so, you know, his grit and heart are, are unbelievable. So that was impressive. I'm sure that's going to be on ESPN top 10, I'm guessing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure on it Twitter. Is. It is. <laughs> Coach Allen Gordon with that 15 conversion to Agata on the opening possession. Just to give DJ some confidence there. Yeah, it really was. You know, we got in a hole quick, you know, and, and, and just being able to come out of that hole um, in, a, in a tough situation. You know, he, he and Gata ran an unbelievable route, and then DJ stepped up and made a great throw. Um, which of course just boosted everybody's confidence and, and you just go with that momentum. And now we're on track again on that first drive of the game of just having confidence and going and scoring some points. Yeah, it was, it was. Um, you know, um, I felt like, man, DJ has run the ball really, really well when we've had an opportunity, when we've given him an opportunity to do so. And so he did a great job of uh, helping us gain an extra hat um, by uh, by running the quarterback, and that's what you do most of the time. You gain an extra hat with the running back as a blocker, um, and so he did a great job again tonight. I don't know how many yards or whatever, how many carries he had, but I know he had a decent amount, and, uh, and that's 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 a big deal for an offense when you got it, multiple ways to run the football. Um, it makes it really really hard on that defense, and especially when they're a defense that is bringing a lot of pressure and uh, doing a lot of stuff. So. Um, so he did a great job of responding to the uh, the challenge, and, and just uh, proud of him for that. I know you missed the throws, but overall, just to see DJ was not clear. Yeah, yeah, you know, it just it just comes back to the kid's resilient, um, and the kid continues to uh, respond whenever he's in a tough spot, you know, and, and so. Um, I think he was 19 for 26 or 27, you know. So really, really good day as far as completion percentage. And yeah, he missed a couple throws that that he needs to make. Um, something he always got to get better at at quarterback. I mean, uh, but man, just love how he, you know, came back today and, and, and really, um, and really did a good job with his confidence and, and really leading as a as a as a big leader on this team. I mean, that's what we talked about all week long. Is our leadership needs to step up. Um, as a team, and, and uh, he definitely did that today. What do you tell Shipley? I mean, you know, you're running the ball that much, and you're running those extra yards from the goals. Yeah. Are going to happen? What can you do? Yeah, you know, just just the, the fundamentals of, of holding the football and making sure, man, because he's going to fight, like you said. I mean, he's always going to try to get that second or third opportunity to, to break a tackle and, and uh, just being able to hold the ball high and tight. We talk about it all the time. 
squeeze it, have no air in there. And that's hard to do when you're, a lot of people are after you and you're fighting for those extra yards. But, you know, he knows he's got to get better at that, and that's something that he'll go to work on Monday for, I'm sure. Antonio Williams had a career day. What is it about him that just enables him to be this productive on his offense? Um, you know, I, I think he's got no fear. He's got so much confidence. Um, and uh, not only just getting open, but also, you know, making any any throw that's that's going to his way. You know, he's he's been able to run a lot of different routes throughout the season, and it shows that he's able to, um, you know, be a threat in a lot of different ways. And so that's hard to defend, um, really, really hard to defend. And he can, he continues to produce, and uh, that's that's special when you're talking about a freshman. In this screen game, was it, was it, was it blocking that you feel like it's kind of keeping some of those from maybe being bigger plays in the head? Yeah, but yeah, most of the time it is. It's a guy here, a guy there, and that's a screen game for you, you know. Um, you know, if, if one guy doesn't do his job on the perimeter, I think we had one today that we had a throw to Shipley and we missed a block on the edge. Um, you know, we're so close on a lot of them, and, and uh, we just got to do a better job of picking guys up um, uh, in space. And that's, that's, that's hard to do, but that's the name of the game on screens. And then do you feel like there have been some plays where you all have had some success where you're calls you throw those screens to kind of set stuff up and defenses are maybe attacking. Yeah, yeah. You know, we got to protect our screens. You know, you, that, that's what you got to do as an offense is, you know, if you're going to throw some screens out to the perimeter, you got to do a really, really good job of protecting them with, with you know, double moves or pumps and things like that. And I know we hit we hit one. I think we called two or three today, but we hit one of them for a big play to Jake. And, uh, you know, so those are things that, you got to keep doing so that it helps protect those guys on the edge for blocking purposes. How important was it for this team the way last week when to get off to those good scripted plays, those first few drives? Yeah, I, I really, really wanted to emphasize our tempo offensively, and uh, and I felt like you know in the beginning of the game we did that and, and tempo and getting DJ going in the run game and and obviously getting Shipley going uh, more a priority and, uh, and and we're able to su be successful with that you know that first drive so. Tempo and, and, and uh, just responding after last week, you know, trying to get them out of a rut a little bit and, and get things going. That's what we're able to do. You feel the confidence level rose tonight? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Anytime you come off of a loss from like last week, um, you know, I felt like the guys again responded and, uh, and they're not backing down at all. They're not, you know, they're just continuing to play ball. Brandon, did you want to get? committed back to the run game more tonight just after getting away from it a little bit last yeah, week? Yeah, I felt I felt like we needed to, you know, after, um, like you said, after last week, you know, we know we can run the football and uh, we just keep feeding those backs and they're going to find ways to make big plays in our offensive line, not just Shipley or Mafa or whoever get better as the game goes, but our offensive line does too. And that just comes to just feeling out the plays and being able to um, you know, get more than just one hit, at, you know, one try at it. The more you do it, the more confidence you're going to have because they're going to be able to fit it up a little bit better. And so our offensive line feeds off of that too. What did you think? What did you think about Mitchell stepping in for Walker? Man, I was proud of him. I mean, I, again, we haven't seen the tape yet, but man, just to have a guy like Mitchell Mays who's worked his tail off week in and week out, just wants opportunity, you know, and, and uh, we knew he was going to have an opportunity today. Uh, he had a really good week of practice. And that kid can be really, really special. So I know he's gonna, it's gonna build his confidence, and, and uh, you know, uh, just proud of him for stepping up. In the second half, what was kind of the balance and conversations about trying to get out with a win, obviously, and finish off the game, but also the aggressiveness and trying to balance that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it was a, it was a situation where, yeah, we, we, I think the first drive of the third quarter, we went and scored, you know, and and really did a good job of. Of responding again, that middle eight, I guess you know that people talk about. You know, we scored that two-minute drive before the half, and then came out with some confidence and had that drive to score there, and then sputtered a little bit there, you know. And and uh, I felt like we just uh, just shot ourselves in the foot a little bit, and, and, and could have been uh, maybe even a little bit more aggressive in the third quarter. But, um, but our guys responded, man. I'm, I'm, I'm proud. Of it. What is it about third down in the last three games or so? Put your finger on it. Yeah, um, I know that um, last game, you know, we were a lot, a lot of third and long. So you, as a play caller, you try to stay out of third and long as much as possible. Um, I don't know how many third and longs we had tonight, but um, I mean, obviously the percentages go down as you as you get further away from getting a first down. And so um, just getting into some medium and, and short yardage situations, I think, are going to be the key. And 
Um, and you know, tonight we, again, we weren't quite as good as we need to be in third down. And, and uh, we just got to keep going back to the drawing board and keep going back to execution on those situations. Because like you said, we started really, really strong <clears throat> in the first part of the season. Um, and now we just got to get back to that. Was there any talk of Bullitt Cade earlier? No, uh, no. We just needed Cade. We, we needed Cade to be ready. And uh, man, he's, as you guys can see, I mean, he's got he's got some really, really good feet and good wheels. And so we just needed a little bit of a little bit of that. Um, that um, just, 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 yeah, just to try to get get a couple first downs right there and, and, and get it going. You know, um, uh, he, he pulled the ball once or twice and got some good yards for it. So it was good that he was ready, obviously. And, uh, you know, just glad that. Uh, you know, he's continued to uh, just respond in every situation. What's been the to you, what's behind the rise of Phil Motha in this offense? A couple of really good games at home. Yeah, well, Phil has been an incredible uh, player for us, you know, and, and it really, he really made that next step last last spring. He was incredible. I mean, he, he had all the reps because our other two guys were, were, uh, were hurt, and uh, he really grew as a player. And, and not just uh, grew as a runner, but as a pass catcher too. So you've seen him be, be able to do a lot of different things. And he's a really hard back to tackle. And so you give him any space at all, or you get him one-on-one, -on -one, most of the time he's gonna win that battle. And uh, and you can just see Phil gaining confidence, you know, no doubt about it. You just see him gain more and more confidence and, and it gives confidence uh, with us and, uh, as, as a coaching staff as well. Would you say that today was Redemption, just how last week went. It was kind of a day and night difference from last week in South Bend to tonight, get the division title locked in uh, you know, yeah. as far as the offense goes. I really, yeah, I really think so. I believe that, uh, you know, this is a really good defense we just played tonight. Uh, they're ranked very high in a lot of different categories. And, um, and so it was a big challenge for our guys, um, especially coming off last week, you know, and just trying to help them gain confidence. Um, uh, throughout the week, and then um, and then watch them go to work, and, and they responded, you know. And that's the, kind of been the theme all year long with our with our offense is they've been able to respond um, in every situation. You know, last week obviously we didn't as much, but but uh, man, I, I felt like um, you know that confidence just came back really quick, especially after that first drive, um, and, uh, and so that was fun to see. Working on something.